Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video concerning Creators Update. It's to answer a multitude of questions that, uh, or a few questions that a multitude of users <laughs> have actually uh, asked me. So uh, here's the thing. So I, of course, did a little video talking about how to prepare for Creators Update and a backup is the essential part of it. You know, even though it's supposed to keep everything, don't rely on that always because that's where you get bitten and then you're sad. Okay, when is Creators Update? I get that question very often lately. It's probably the first week of April or in the first half of April. It's beginning of April. And so we're not much more than a month away now from Creators Update. What is Creators Update? Creators Update is a major update to Windows 10. Windows 10 has departed from other operating systems like Windows 7 um, and Windows Vista and Windows 8 in a sense that it will always be Windows 10. Again, we're getting now, you know, at um, two years of Windows 10 and Microsoft is still holding on to, yep, there's no other version of Windows, it's Windows 10. We're going to issue major updates to Windows 10 and that's what's gonna happen. And so Creators Update is a major update to Windows 10. So we had the original version of Windows 10 released in July of 2015. We had a November update in November of 2015. Then we had the anniversary update which is another major update in August, August 2nd of 2016. And now we are reaching the point of Creators Update, which is the next major milestone. And will not be the only one this year. It's going to be another, there's going to be another big update in uh, October, November, um, which might actually come to us in a different way. But uh, for now, we'll concentrate on Creators Update. So that's you know, Creators Update is here to uh, bring us all sorts of new features uh, and it's here to, you know, also not just add new features but uh, tweak Windows 10 to try to get more and more people to like it. Now, who gets Creators Update? That is uh, a confusion for a lot of people. Uh, I get people saying, oh, so that's for insiders only. No. Creators Update is a major update to Windows 10 for everybody that has Windows 10. Everyone, every single one of you will get this Creators Update. It's not just for insiders because I do have that comment from time to time saying, oh, well, you know, Creators Update is for insiders. No, no, it's for everybody, okay? Insiders get insider previews. We got them right now. And if you go on my insider channel, you'll have a great idea and you'll have a cool idea of what Creators Update looks like. We're looking at the insider previews right now. But early April, Creators Update's coming out and it's for everyone. How is it delivered? Through Windows Update. That means you go to your Windows Updates and you check for updates and you'll see something pop up called Creators Update or something like that, or Windows 10 Creators Update. And it will download from there and it will reinstall and it is a big install. It's like reinstalling Windows, really an amazing big update. So that's why my first video of how to prepare for Creators Update. Don't expect it to always work perfectly. Such a big update will unfortunately have collateral damage. With, there will be a small portion of you that will have issues and I understand that that's really uh, you know sad and really a bad part. But the majority of you will probably upgrade fine. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't back up. You should always back up anyways. So, will you all get it when it's out? No. Creators Update, like the last update, Anniversary Update, will go out in waves. So what does that mean? Creator, you know, the Anniversary Update that we had actually is still not on 100% of all PCs. It's like 90-something percent now. That means some people still don't even have it right now. But they will eventually have it. So, um, you know, you got to wait. Technically, the best idea is to wait. So, it's going to roll out in waves. And the way that Microsoft does these waves is usually by starting with the newest hardware first. You got a new PC that you bought this year? 
well, there's a big chance that it's going to be one of the first to be updated to the creator's update. And the holder your PC, probably the farther away you will be in that wave. Now, it could also mean, you know, there could be some newer PCs that still wait for a long time because of a specific hardware issue. And why and how this is decided, all that telemetry that Microsoft is getting from your Windows machine, they know which machines are not yet compatible completely with um, Creator's Update, like they do it right now with Anniversary Update. That's why it takes a long time to update everyone, which means you are, have information on your PC that was sent to Microsoft, and when all of the criteria of everything is okay is reached, that's when you get it, it appears on your Windows Update. Now, from there, you will, at some point, you know, so it can take, you know, months before you get it, even though it's in April. Some of you will, of course, ask me, can you force it? And of course you can force it. Basically, I will force it on all my machines immediately at the start for a very simple reason, because I want to have it immediately. And I actually need it right now for my videos. So that means when Creator's Updates is released, even if I don't have it in my updates immediately, which is there's a big chance because my PC that I'm using to make videos is a little older, um, I will go and, of course, with the media creation tool, Microsoft will update all of that, the media creation tool and the image file that you'll get from downloading on the media, uh, on the Windows website will be Creator's Update. That's what you'll get. Everything there will be updated. That also means if you are a, uh, you keep a Windows 10 USB thumb drive ready in case you need to reinstall, well, that will be the time to update it to the latest creator's update so that you don't have to go back in time in order to install Windows. And that's the cool thing about Windows 10 is that you can have the latest versions all the time. And now you'll say, well, if I can force it immediately, why wait? Well, we've seen that the anniversary update, a lot of people that have actually updated immediately had problems. And that's why this time around, I will still show you how to do it, but I will probably tell you, look, you better wait for the Creator's Update to arrive in your Windows Updates than to force it because it might cause problems. You know, I did have problems forcing the, create, the uh, Anniversary Update on my computer, but I'm a tech guy. I got around it and I fixed what I could fix and I was able to use it. If you're not very tech savvy, you better wait and you better wait for it to arrive. And you know, it's sad you won't have it maybe immediately, but at least you'll have it at some point. So that's pretty much what I have to say and how to answer the questions that everybody's been asking on Creators Update. Uh, so uh, coming soon, not much more than a month before we get this. So hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you have, you know, um, a uh, great time watching our videos. And of course, it's always fun to have all of your feedback. So uh, thank you for watching, and hope you like our videos.